Today I'm very excited because I'm going to show you how to remove anything from any photo, any image using DALI 2 and Affinity Photo on the iPad. What I'm going to show you today is now part of my toolkit. If there's ever a case where I need a subject removed from a photo or an item removed for a photo, this is the very technique I'm going to use. It's absolutely mind blowing. I hope you learn a lot. I think you'll end up using it yourself. So let's get into it. Here we are inside Affinity Photo on the iPad and this is an absolute absolutely stunning image. Now, say for some reason, I'm not sure why I would, but say I want to cut the, these guys out and do, in Photoshop it's called Content Aware. In Affinity Photo, you could use the in painting brush, you could use the, the clone tool. There's, there's a few other things you could do, but it doesn't matter if you use Photoshop, Affinity Photo, doesn't matter what way or technique, no matter what, it's gonna be a very, very big job to remove these guys and to make it look as if they were never there in the photo. But we're gonna try it with a combination of Affinity Photo on the iPad and DALI 2. So that's our image inside Affinity Photo. I'm gonna jump in to DALI 2 and import it into there. As like the last video, we're gonna upload an image. Just simply click that wee link, choose the file, and this is our image here. And this is from unsplash.com, so it's free to use. And as we learned last time, DALI 2 only makes images currently square aspect ratio. And we're very fortunate here because this just fits in. There might be a wee bit of cleanup we'll have to do at the end inside Affinity Photo, I'm not sure, but this just fits. So we're gonna crop them out and we're gonna edit the image. And yeah, I, th I think we've got them all and we're just gonna move the brush sides down a wee bit. And we're just gonna try and get as much as these guys as we can. And that's why it's really nice doing this work on the iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil. There's a lot of flexibility with the Apple Pencil. So we've completely removed these guys from the background and now we'll have to add in something. So what we're gonna do, it's gonna be a forest background, shall we say. So if somebody just typed in a forest background, uh, I could get these plants and maybe really should look and see what these plants are, but we'll just hit generate just to see what DALI 2 comes up with. And I am very excited. Normally in an image like this, it takes a wee bit longer than doing AI art. So DALI 2, over to you. It's doing its thing. The progress bar starting. It's giving us a, a tip and a wee example file. And this is real time. So let's see what's gonna come. Hold your breath, folks. Here we are. Let's see how Dali has, has got on. Wow. Let's click into that. I wasn't too confident with what I typed in, a forced background, but that is absolutely stunning. That's stunning. That's the first image. That's the second image. That's the third. Just kind of placed a bit of a rock up here. And that's the fourth, and I think maybe the best. That is so impressive. So I like that one. I'm not sure about the rock and what's going on here. I like the way that's joined up. I quite like that one, although that looks a wee bit more digitized. And that's really nice. I think that's the one, actually. So that's what we had. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. So I'm just going to download that. I really can't believe that. I wasn't expecting too much, if I'm being honest. We're just going to download it here. And then we're going to bring it back into a Findlay Photo. So I'm going to bring up a Findlay Photo. I'm just going to bring up the dock. Hold on the Files icon. And these are the latest ones saved. And uh, I saved it twice by mistake. So we'll just drag this in. It will be smaller, but we're gonna scale it right up. And it just snaps into place on the sides. And maybe just by going to our layer and dragging down the opacity, we're gonna maybe zoom in and get a better idea of where it should go. I'm just line it up to these wee 
lines here. Is there anything else I could line it up to? Maybe that's okay. Let's let's hide that layer and, and see. Yep, I think that's okay. So if I bring that fully back and click out of it, that is stunning. Dali, when it saves an image, it always has these wee, has these wee color bars. So I'm simply going to tap on the image, click the plus, mask the layer, go into our photo persona, and our paintbrush. And it's on black. Black means hide. So we simply just mask that out. And look at that. Within seconds, Dali has removed this couple. Let's just go to before and after. So that's before, that's after, that's before, that's after, and that is absolutely unbelievable. There's a few wee things we could do. We could clean up these wee steps down here because I think that's a wee bit of the, maybe the reflection of the dress, is it? No, that's something Dali's just done. We could actually just mask this wee bit out, possibly, just so it blends in a wee bit better. I don't want to go too mad, because then you'll see the dress, two fingers to undo, but certainly by doing that, that makes it look even better. If I'm being picky, I would probably duplicate this bit and put it over here. And the only other wee thing is maybe fix a line up here. But Dali 2 has transformed this image before and after within a few seconds. And that is absolutely unbelievable. That would have took me an absolute age. That's the power of Dali 2. And I think for me and my workflow, that's how one of the reasons or one of the ways I'll be using Dali 2. Unbelievable. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned a lot. Hopefully you tried it yourself just to see the power of Dali 2 and Affinity Photo and the iPad working together. It's part of my process now. So anytime I need to do something like this, Dali 2 and Affinity Photo and the iPad is the way to go. And I'm actually looking forward to trying this on more and more different things because I just, I'm blown away with the results. If you found any value in this video, please give it a like. I'd really appreciate that. And if you want more information or more videos on Dali 2 and Affinity Photo, please subscribe to my channel. We're going to be diving into it a bit more in the incoming videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.